Hey guys, Nate 2.0 here with a new video. So I just got back from a four day hiking trip that we completed in three days. I'm already lost. You notice this orange shirt? It's quite orange. Basically we hiked 20 miles on Lake Superior, which is basically a freaking ocean. And the highlights of that trip were catching a chipmunk. I changed my underwear without taking my shorts off. I consider that a huge accomplishment. Eek source, that's goatsy. Everyone was amazed and they're just like, wow. You're, you're gonna go places. Eek source, that's goatsy! For all of you who are wondering, I'm only funny on days that end in Y. Hey, come on! Let's crank this up to 11. <laughs> and one of the nights, I had a dream. And this dream was epic. And the dream started like this. It was an infomercial for a laser defense system. And basically, when a bad guy stepped into the laser defense system, a green representation would come up on this computer and use that to detect his facial features and random crap like that doesn't even make sense. And take it to the police somehow. And so the infomercial decided they wanted to test this to the extreme. So this fat old white guy, who's a billionaire, has this super secret safe. Outside of the safe is a bodyguard from the British Secret Service with an Australian flag on his chest. And he slightly resembled R. Kelly. Pretty suspicious. Anyways, I'm part of this infomercial, and my job is to protect the safe from the forces of evil. So all of a sudden, this little room in infomercial has turned into a giant castle medieval times. So I start out in this giant guitar case boat, going through a lake, ramming into the bad guy. I've also got table legs. Not sure how. But then it turns out, the freaking entire evil army is after us. Bam, 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 bam. Take down the enemy cruiser with my guitar case boat. And then I have to head back to the castle, which was also a spa, and had five Olympic-sized swimming pools in one area, and hardwood floor. Very slippery. And this lady I know kept trying to make me lunch. I'm just like, no thank you. Although she made lunch for the bad guys too, which is the weird part. I think she made chocolate chip pancakes and sausage eggs. So I get up on this turret, and all of a sudden a dragon comes out of nowhere! And now it's up to me and my turret of fire lasers, yes, laser beams on fire, to shoot down this dragon. In my own world. So after this dragon attacks, and I finally fend him off, all of a sudden planets start attacking us! That's right, the forces of evil have flying planets! I swear I'm I'm not making this up. This is what I dreamt. It was up to me to morph the fabric of time and space so when the planets try to hit the castle, time and space is just like Wah! so everything's moved over but it's all like wavy and so the planet misses and then he comes back for a second round. Zhoo! The planet finally spins out of control and hits Jupiter. It's just like poosh! Swamp! But then it hits that little red thing and apparently that red thing is like a lava hot super mega ultra bomb. It explodes! But the flying planet and dragons are taken care of. It's my turn to defeat the evil villain behind all these forces of evil. And somehow I'm on the Enterprise. Set phasers to... Holy crap, you're blowing my mind! So now I'm on the Starship Enterprise, and the doors go foop, and all of a sudden, bam! Right there is the evil villain guy, mastermind of all the bad stuff, and I have to kill him. And he's wearing Sauron's armor. <laughs> He just stood there while his bodyguard of elites tried to attack me, and I don't know how, but they died. They just did. I think I'm that awesome. So now this mastermind dude in Sauron's armor is pissed off. And to this point, the laser defense system is nowhere to be seen, along with, like, the British bodyguard from Australia, who slightly resembled R. Kelly. So I'm in space, ready to duke it out with this guy as he's coming to kill me. I wake up. Ooh, doesn't that just suck? So I want you to make the ending for me. Whether I die, whether I get mutilated, whether something explodes, I don't care. Make a video response about how you think it should go, and make sure your arms are flailing all over the place, because that makes it funnier. Oh crap. That was your daily dose of Nate 2.0. <laughs>